This is Grow Omaha Uncut, where you can watch our radio show, including what goes on in the commercial breaks. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Well, good morning and welcome to the show. Jeff Beals here at your service. We're brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center along with D&M Roofing and Siding. This is the only show you'll find in the entire metro area that is dedicated to the growth and development of the metro area. We talk about new businesses, construction, just fun and exciting things if you care about this city becoming more vibrant and more prosperous. Well, without any further ado, it's time to bring on my co-host, a right jolly old elf himself, Trenton Maggid. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Joe. Good. And you're a legendary real estate deal oh, maker. Thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I always like to add that in there. Appreciate it. Well, Trenton, we've got a, a busy show today because our good friend Stacy Winters is going to be joining us in a few minutes. Uh, he is the founder of Omaha Food Lovers. And so it's always fun when Stacy comes on because we talk food, the show ends, everyone's starving. They're just uh, running out to go find something to eat. But before that, we probably ought to get into the news. Absolutely. And we welcome his 89,000 plus members of Omaha Food Lovers to the show today. Yeah, I hope all 89,000 of them are listening. Well, the news is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. They know mortgages, and they have proven to to save home borrowers quite a bit of money vis-a-vis the traditional banks. And the nice thing about a mortgage broker is that they can shop a variety of lenders to get you the best deal possible. And keep in mind, even though we are within the shadow of of Christmas Day now, or as Archie Bunker said, we've got Christmas at our throats. Either way, we can tell you this. A lot of people are still buying and selling houses. So if you're thinking about buying a house and you really want to get started now and you're thinking to yourself, I can't wait and got to wait until after Christmas. No, you don't. (laughs) You can call Eagle Mortgage right now, get the process started, at least get that pre-approval letter going. And you can find them online at eaglemortgagecompany.com or in person. And they're just good people. Darn good people. Well, Trenton, let's get started with the news. Um, so we've got some uh, more demolition to talk about. We've actually got two demolition stories today. You love posting demolition pictures. <laughs> our, I think I think uh, demo is probably our number three most exciting topic for Grow Omaha listeners. Number one? Restaurants. Two, that's number two. Okay. Number one, skyscrapers. We get about one of those every 20 years. Right. Okay, number two, restaurants. Number three, tearing stuff down. So let's go into our two demolition reports. Number one, by the Med Center, um, an old OPS school that is southwest of Saddle Creek Road and Farnham Street has been reduced to rubble. And this is going to make way for the UNMC Nebraska Medicine Administration Tower on the southwest corner. That administration tower will be connected by a lid, basically a park patio structure that will cover Saddle Creek to the future Project Next. Of course, where Project Next has been going on, or will be happening, a lot of demo has been going on because that's where the old Monroe Meyer Institute is mostly gone, but there's still a little bit of lingering demolition going there. So if you're a demo fan, uh, you can see demo on both sides of Saddle Creek in that area. I have a feeling that that in the urban core, if you see some of the renderings, that uh, lids are going to be a popular thing um, over uh, 480, Interstate 480, and Saddle Creek. And it'll be interesting to see these these living lids with plants and everything else. Yeah, that that lid you're talking about that's planned for uh, the 480 corridor would be between Dodge and Harney, or maybe more like a Douglas and Harney. And there's talk about possibly some cool uh, development projects happening right in that area between 480 and Midtown Crossing. We'll see what happens with those, but some cool rumors. There's a lot of land in play, yeah. Well, let's talk about the other demolition story of the week. And this one is at Hartwood Preserve uh, in West Omaha. Hartwood Preserve is the old Boys Town West farm. Um, you've, you've got a couple really cool Class A office buildings on the north side of it. But kind of on the, uh, kind of on the back side of Hartwood Preserve, right northwest of Millard North High School, is Ovation Senior Living Complex. And that uh, is a very, very nice complex. And uh, there was one building that unfortunately caught on fire back in April, right before the residents were going to move into you know, that building. It was a couple building. weeks. It was active senior living, and people were talking about moving in and everything, and then poof. 
Did we ever find out what the cause was? I don't believe we have, but uh, the day of that fire, there was a 25 mile per hour wind, which made putting it out really rough. And then there was the way the building was was structured. There was a pretty good space of of trusses between the ceiling and the roof, and apparently the fire was really stubborn uh, to put out in that area. At any rate, they put on so much water uh, in that fire because they had to that mold grew and the building could not be salvaged so that building is coming down that entire brand new building ready for moving almost and it was gone it's gone if you want to see a photo of it just go to the grow omaha facebook page i put a photo on there i was driving by uh earlier this week and i i got out of the car and just snapped a quick uh, telephone photo but uh yeah, it's weird to see a building that nice, that new, um, coming down. And I, I, of course, being the intrepid reporter that I am, I walked up to the fence and talked to the construction guys, and I said, "I said, is it still? <laughs> was it still damp?" And they said, "Oh, actually, yeah, this building is soggy even today when we were tearing it down." Well, last one I can think of is uh, the Butternut Building downtown off 10th Street. Oh God, that one. What was replaced tragic. that? The Corvina. Yeah, the Corvina. Eventually, the Corvina, but it sat vacant. That lot sat vacant for a long time after they that tore thing the was Butternut done down. Too. Yeah, what was that? That was probably like what 10, 12 story building. Oh, it was big. It, it was big one box. of those old red. It was one of the last surviving Jobbers Canyon red brick buildings, and it was going to be a super cool multifamily project. And that was quite the fire. And that one could not be salvaged because it was basically just a brick shell that was waiting to collapse yeah, at any moment. Old building. Okay, well, some other news that we have going on this week. Um, the next item is in the Capital District. Uh, the Capital District, you know, most people think of it as a Marriott hotel, apartments, and, and some bars, but there's also an office building right there along Capitol Street. It just landed its first major office tenant. Deloitte um, is going to move out of the First National Tower and into a 10,000-square-foot space on the third story. This particular building in the Capital District is the one that has Texas Day Brazil uh, mm-hmm. Steakhouse. And so I, I think that's a good sign for the Capital District. You know, they you want to get as much foot traffic as you can in, the, in that area. And, of course, Steelhouse Omaha is going to be opening later this spring. Um, and then the, with all the park redevelopment, that area is looking good. And the, 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 the daytime tenancy as well as, as the nighttime with the apartments around there and, and getting the retail in there and the restaurants certainly helps. So, Trenton, um, next story uh, is uh, 88 Tactical. This uh, is a membership organization that you know pretty well. Yeah. You're a member there. Right there Friday. Okay. So they, and and we'll have you give a little quick review of it here in a moment, but um, they expanded the restaurant lounge and shooting range. Uh, This is at uh, I-80 and Highway 370. The restaurant now seats 300. Kitchen is supposedly 3,000 square feet. That's quite the kitchen. It's got a top golf swing suite, outdoor patio lounge. Uh, digitalized shooting lanes, whatever, big expansion. So what was it like when you went in there? It, it was crowded. It's, you know, it's, it's been open for about a week, and they've been, had big plans. They have more plans for with, a, with a pool and outdoor concert venue space and pickleball. And um, they, they, they get people through there, and th- I think they added about 20 lanes um, to the approximately 20 that they ha- had already. And that, it's right on uh, 84th and I-80, or excuse me, um, Highway interstate 370 yeah. and Interstate 80, and uh, very visible, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what else they build out there. Well, and then and looking at the press release, it sounded like they, you know, they're bringing in uh, very highly trained chefs, <clears throat> gourmet food. Uh, looks like an impressive wine list there. So they they have a pretty cool in, enclosed uh, um, wine area, glass and and uh, uh, a wine. What do you call it? A wine. Uh, you mean that word that begins with an S that I can't pronounce? A sommelier. Yeah, but, I can't pronounce that word. But, but I'm talking about I've the, tried for years. The the wine cellar, I guess. You oh, could the wine call cellar. It, yeah. Okay, but the wine uh, the wine guy uh, that they have there is one of only 269 people in the world who have attained the master status. So wow. um, you don't think of that at a shooting range. No. So that's kind of impressive. All right, uh, last story we have. Uh, Omaha's bond rating will remain at one of the highest ratings possible from both Moody's uh, Investor Services and S&P Global. 
kind of interesting, the press release from the mayor's office says, in published reports, both of those companies, Moody's and S&P, recognize the city's annexation package, strong reserve accounts, conservative budgeting, business growth, and, this is interesting, development projects as factors in the high ratings. In fact, S&P highlights the 2023 planned start of construction of Mutual of Omaha's new downtown headquarters and the University of Nebraska Medical Center's Project Next, a $2.6 billion addition to the UNMC campus estimated to create 40,000 jobs over the next decade. Wow. That, that is pretty pretty impressive. Just the next project or all those things? This makes it sound like that's just the next project. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. But interesting that S&P highlighted that as part of, uh, as part of the city's outlook. And, and the report from S&P also said, quote, given the city's affordability, aggressive approach to annexation, and robust development pipeline, we expect it to continue to experience strong growth. So that's pretty encouraging. Kudos to uh, city. Uh, Mayor Stothler is doing a great job. Uh, city Planning Department, Omaha City Council Planning Board, and um, I think we're a well-run city. The people that really, uh, you know, you hear about all kinds of things in nas- national politics, and, and Omaha seems to get it right, and, and people work together. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I mean, if you look at our city council, we've got a good city council, and, you know, you got people from two, two different political parties on there. It's pretty balanced, but you know, compared to a lot of cities, they seem to work together pretty well, and 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 the mayor provides good leadership. So we're we're blessed and we're fortunate. Not every um, large city, you know, because Omaha, the city of Omaha, is now about five hundred thousand people. Not every large city like this gets along so functionally. All right, well, that's your news of the week, brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, EagleMortgageCompany.com. dot com. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to bring on our good friend Stacy Winters, founder of Omaha Food Lovers, and we're going to talk about restaurants, your second favorite subject on the Grow Omaha show. Stay with us. You're listening to Jeff and Trenton on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Your vehicle is a I'd argue that sommelier. You go. Sommelier. You can, you can say it. You can <laughs> say it. <laughs> what did I say? I, I can't, can't say it. Sommelier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, uh, but as far as popularity, restaurant, because skyscrapers don't come around so often, so restaurants are probably yeah. the most popular. Yeah, I always say uh, I always say our two red meat subjects are skyscrapers and restaurants, and unfortunately, we only get one skyscraper yeah. every twenty years. So we talk a lot about restaurants. So you guys fans of the uh, rail car or the rail? The uh, street car? Street car? Huge. Yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah, that'll be good. Huge fan. It'll do. Uh, it'll do. Over the over its first ten years, it'll spark Bonzo development. Already is. It already is. There's like rumors of some stuff that's going to come from the Mercantile District on the Conagra campus. It's going to be pretty cool. And, yeah. um, there are a lot of people that are the jockeying building. for spots on Farnham and Hardy. The building they developed on there, like on the Conagra. That's huge. The, the retail Massive. and the apartment. Yes. So do you know the do you know the three flagship restaurant groups? The concepts that'll be going there. Oh, I don't know which one's going. There. I know. I want to know. Yeah. They're going right on tenth. Tenth then Hardy. Yeah. But they I might, assume it's some Hardy. I assume it's probably some of that they've had in other cities now. I've heard rumors that yeah, that's the Mercantile, right? Yeah, the Mercantile, the brick line building. Yeah, in the Mercantile. I've heard that one of them was a concept they had in a different city, and at least one of them is something new. Okay. But no one has told me that. Their concepts were super cool. You've been to Texas State Resort? Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Yeah, it was good. I, I got to try it still. So it's, yeah, it's uh, definitely an experience, I think. My son, who, you know, the, the, the steak eater, he uh-huh. like, asked him after, because, you know, for him, it's all you can eat, and he can eat a lot. He's like, let's go here every day. <laughs> so, but I asked him his preference, and he said he'd still rather go just to a steak, get a great steak somewhere else. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Just to have a steak. Even though, I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, How much is it? $47.99. That's it? Yeah, well, those places start filling up with all the salads and all that. Yeah, I mean the salad stuff is good though too. I mean it's, I mean it's high quality everything. That I gotta get down and try it. Yeah. We were gonna go that one night, but yeah. it was, we were kind of late notice. They didn't have any. We gotta uh, talk about the Terrence Crawford fight tonight. Uh, I have Heidi's Heidi's uh, co- company or holiday party is tonight, and it's at CHI. Oh, oh. you're kidding? Oh really? Yeah. I'm so like, you can just steal out for I'm the main like, event. Right if I just go, like, well, I'm like. They start at the dinners at seven, but so that five won't even start till like ten thirty. Yeah. yeah. So, so you guys can have dinner, have some cocktails, and then go. Uh, she wouldn't go for that. But you know, 
Is it sold out? out? Search for uh, National Indemnity. Dark Shower. Is it sold out? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, this is a pretty big arena. But then again, that's kind of a big deal. I don't know if they... I don't know if they... It might be his last fight in Omaha, too. He's just, I don't know if they... They open it up, the entire arena for that fight. Though. Oh, I think they do, right? I don't... Yeah. I mean, they close off the upper... I, I mean, I, I don't... I, they, yeah. wouldn't get, they wouldn't get 15000 for that? I don't think so. I think they've gotten 10 or 11. Oh, okay. They, yeah, they get a lot of money for those tickets. I don't need it. Do I? No, I can't. You're You're and welcome back to the show. Jeff Beals and Trenton Mackin at your service. This is Grow Omaha, brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DM Roofing and Siding. Eric Oberumt and his awesome team over at DM Roofing and Siding do an outstanding job with both residential and commercial roofs. They are so customer service oriented. Of course, they have great craftsmanship. They have access to top quality materials. But I think the thing that you'll really love about them is just the way they treat you and how honest they are and how well they communicate and and and, and all of that. So we can't recommend them enough and we thank them for uh, being a Grow Omaha sponsor. Let's bring on Stacy Winters. He is the founder of Omaha Food Lovers and good friend of our Hours on the show. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Trent. Thanks Welcome for having back. me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so the uh, the group's up over eighty nine thousand now. Yeah, it continues to grow. It's. Uh, I think we need to start taking bets on how soon we get to hundred. Well, I there mean, ninety thousand is not that far away. I mean, no, ninety. Yeah, well, yeah, it'll probably hit there within within the next month. I'm sure. But this is only within a few years, right? When did you start it? A little over three years ago. Think about that. Uh, three years and what, four months, five months. And it's grown holistically. Everybody has yeah. joined as a, as a member <coughs> yep. in their own it's, right. It's a, it's a private Facebook group. So you have to, you know, you have to request or have to be invited. So, 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 um, so you've approved, you and your co-moderators have personally approved 90,000 people. <laughs> right? That's a lot of approvals. It's a lot of approvals. <laughs> Definitely. Keeps us busy. Does your clicker finger get sore every <laughs> once in a while? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, yes, it does. I'm, like, your carpal tunnel is not far away, I'm sure. So, Stacy, um, your uh, Omaha Food Lovers is doing some uh, philanthropic endeavors at this time. Tell us about that. Yes, this is our third year because um, I think the first year was 2020. We did this, but uh, we do a fundraiser for the um, the food bank for the Heartland. Um, every year, it's gotten bigger and bigger. It's pretty cool to see. So, what we've done is we've reached out. Um, to restaurants who have you know donated gift cards as incentives to donors um, and so when somebody donates to the food bank and we have a link you know to our it's a virtual fund drive is what it's called and we have a link you know on our on our group um, so we post daily to kind of giving updates on where we're at with the fundraiser um, but when somebody donates they get their name into the drawing for one of those gift cards and as of right now just for this year, we have, I think, about 175 businesses participating, and I think I have over 425, 450 gift cards. So that continues to grow on a daily basis. Um, last, the first year, we'd raised $66,000, um, and we do it from Chris, or from December 1st through Christmas. Uh, last year, we raised $104,000. Huge. And now we're, you know, and then we're, this year we're trying to obviously top last year's with, I think we have 19,000 more members. So, you know, you'd think you might be able to you know, beat that lot number from last year. So um, it does a great, you know, a lot of, it, it's a, the, the amount of money we're raising and what it's helping with the community and the, the food bank. I think they told me, you know, we've, we've raised enough money for 616,000 meals, I think thus far. Um, it's just it's just amazing. And you get matching funds too, right? Yeah. So there's the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign, which I think this year there's a three hundred and twenty thousand dollar match. So every dollar we raise gets matched, which is pretty cool. So, you know, if we can get it, you know, get up over a hundred thousand, we'll get over two hundred thousand. And it's all different size donors. That's that's what I was yeah. most impressed with. The the number of donors yeah, is just as impressive as the amount. Last year we had eighteen hundred donors, which I think is a pretty pretty impressive amount. Um, this year we're we're already over a thousand donors, um, and again we'll go till we have about a little over two weeks left. We've raised forty thousand. We're a bit behind where I'd like to be, to be quite honest. Um, so hopefully, we, you know, everyone hearing this, um, you know, one of the frustrations on Facebook, right, is if, trying to figure out that algorithm because, you know, we'll we'll have a post in the group that you know we'll talk about you know, church's chicken that saw 60,000, you know, post views. <laughs> and I, I can't, oh my get, God. I can't get a, a fundraiser post view to go over 5,000, which is, you know, it's very frustrating, but you know, we're trying, we're trying to get it out there. 
You need to attach it. Just put a chicken uh, church's chicken photograph along. With that it. might not be a bad idea. I might actually try that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sold that land to them up at 168th and uh, West Maple Road. Yeah. So good, good for them. So. Yeah, I know. Crazy popular. So um, in the next segment, we're going to ask you about your, you know, top restaurants of 2022 that came in. But for for this segment, I want you to to, to do something that you always do for us, and that is. Where has Stacy gone to lunch and breakfast and dinner lately? Where have you been lately? Where's Stacy? And where <laughs> where in the world is Stacy? So, actually, this will this is I'll, I'll, a couple of these are crossovers because you know the, the new versus where I've been lately. So that's probably a crossover. Fair enough. Um, so actually, last night went to Sauce by Alfaro. Um, I'd seen my uh, friend Dan Hoppin post about their Nashville hot chicken this week. So, the downtown Papillion, 84th yeah, Street. Yeah, so if you ever want a really fun evening, Sauce by Alfaro and Twisted Vine are right next door to each other. You go to Sauce, you order, they'll deliver it next door to you at Twisted Vine. So you get your cocktails, your wine, your whatever. They're having holiday beverages at Twisted Vine. But you get the food from uh, from Sauce. But that Nashville hot chicken was excellent. And her burgers are amazing. She's doing a screwball whiskey peanut butter burger this week. Huh, wow. So she, you know, the name is Sauce because of all of her fantastic sauces that she makes. So that was, that was, uh, has that whiskey peanut butter sauce on it. And it was super good. And her burgers were cooked to perfection. Like I can't, I can't make one my, that well. There's only a few places where you can get Nashville hot. Chicken. Yeah, it's it's definitely gotten more popular. Was it popular. Omaha Tap Room maybe on? Uh, uh, Omaha Tap House has it. Barshan has it. Uh, Jukes Ale Works has it. Um, there's 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 dirty, getting more and more. Dirty, dirty Birds, Birds has yep. it. They have an Omaha. They call theirs Omaha Hot. Uh huh. Um, there's a few. Um, I would say you know just for me, my favorites have been this one from from Sauce, but her menu changes on a weekly basis, so you're not always going to be able to get that. And then uh, Barshan or Bershan, however you pronounce it, up in Benson, I think have been my my top ones for Nashville hot chicken. I just talked to the owner of Bershan uh, this week, yeah, and uh, and a good conversation. He was talking about how he's very proud of his burger. Yeah, uh, he said he's got a burger that's pretty tough to it's, beat. It's, I got to get up and try it. His burgers are great, and I think they serve the same burger at Dundee Dell. I think he's, I, he said I, that. I think yeah, they're exactly the same, and their fries are good. They do like the seasoning kind of. If anybody remembers uh, Smash Burger when they were in town, they uh-huh. kind of had that rosemary seasoning on them. They do a similar type of fry, so I, very good. I gotta, I, yeah, I gotta get over and try those. I've been to the new Dundee Dill, but uh, when I went there, I had to get the fish and chips, right? Because uh, that, yeah, that's it, what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. But I'm gonna go back and try the burger sometime. Um, so another another fun Sunday that I did with some friends, um, and I've talked about Ali Taco 402 before, I think, on here. Yeah, but yeah. Ali Taco 402 is a uh, um, kind of a hidden gem, to be quite honest. And they are planning to expand or, you know, take the truck and move it elsewhere. And last year, there was rumors they were opening a restaurant, too. But we went and got tacos there, which are, I, you know, I always hate to say the best, but they are, if they're not the best, they're a top three. Do they tacos. move around? Not yet. That's their plan, is that just to, they said they were going to try to do that this next year. Um, so where do you find them, just online? or? So they are they are literally in the alley, uh, like t- between 20th and 21st, and south of R Street down in South Omaha. Wow. So <laughs> you just got to fo- follow them on Instagram or Facebook, and then you can see where they're at. But we took their tacos. We got the tacos to go. And then we went down to Bellevue and went to the Century Lounge. The Century Lounge is old school vibe, so cool, great playlist. They were doing like a like a Little Richard playlist while we were down there or, or Dick Dale kind of surfer rock or whatever. But then they do on Sundays, they do a Bloody Mary bar, $5 Bloody Mary bar. Like huh. For $5, you can get dill pickle vodka, bacon vodka, regular vodka, and they give you you know your your um, Bloody Mary mix. And then you get all like choices of hundreds of toppings for I hope $5. That's, that's one Bloody Mary, right? You, yeah, you, yeah. It's not like no, oh, you can drink. No, no, five dollars. But <laughs> yeah. you get to make. There's going to be a rush. You get to. You, I, but you get to bacon. You know, pickled okra, all the olives you might want. They have everything you want to choose from for five dollar Bloody Mary bar. Good deal. That's a good deal. Um, so, I think um, kind of another one that I would put up there that I had not personally been to before was Cruisers, which is a bar and grill. I've never been there. Yeah, like 84th and F area. I'll say I'm not sure I've even heard of it. Yeah, but a lot of people were talking about the wings there. I'm a wing guy. I love wings. Oh, who they doesn't? Were, they, were, they were excellent wings. And they every day during their happy hour, they do a 10 for 10 on wings, which is kind of like, you know, a lot of places do like wing Wednesday. They do a happy hour wing wing every day. $10 for 10? Yeah. Okay. So it was a it was a it was a good deal. They're big wings, crispy wings. Um, nice and spicy. 
I did not go crazy hot. Uh-huh. You know, when I'm eating with my wife, I can't go to the extreme level of heat that I might want. She can't uh, keep up with your spiciness? She, she can't keep up with my spiciness. That's exactly right. Shout out to you, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it was, a, again, one of those kind of under-the-radar places I, I, I wouldn't have really had any idea about except for the group, you know, people constantly posting about their, their uh, wings and their homemade sauces. So that was, that was really good. Um, not new for me, but um, I think it gets st- still gets maybe forgotten sometimes as Mantra up in Benson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I, feel, I feel like they're kind of the originators of the bottomless mimosa in Omaha. They were kind of the first ones really doing that. They've been doing it for 10-plus years probably now. Um, but we went up there with some friends for a Sunday brunch. And I feel like, you know, when people ask me for Sunday fun day recommendations, Mantra is always one of those top you know, places. a bright atmosphere in there. Yeah. That's always, and they have, they have a few TVs in there. If you want to watch some football while you're there, it's always, it's always at the top of my list for that. Reporting pub is probably at the top of my list for fun day, Sunday fun day, just cause that atmosphere as well. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience and, you know, pretty much ate the entire menu. I was, you know, trying to, that's what I like about friends. If you go out to dinner with me, you'll, you'll find that you're, we're all going to share whatever we get. You know, it's kind of like we'll order like a little bit of everything and you're like, we'll just try it all. Like, so if you, if, you know, if you want to, if you can't decide what you want to eat, we're all going to try it anyway. So. We're all Stacey gets around. <laughs> That's true. I know it. I know. I'm a, I'm a little bit envious of it and, and, and a lot impressed. Well, we're going to break for the news, but I think you have some others on that list, don't you? Yeah. There's some, uh, some of the new places that we wanted to discuss just that uh, had opened up this year. Okay. We're going to do that when we come back, but we got to break for the news. And um, when we come back, more restaurant talk with Stacy Winters of Omaha Food Lovers. You're listening to Jeff Beal sitting next to Trenton Magid and the show is brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DM Roofing and Siding. Back in a moment on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Everyone says they like work. Um, yeah, so are there any other of those that you want to mention before we go into the list of 2022? Um, no, no. I, okay. I, I, like Corner Kitchen, like that's the place I would, that's probably like the number one new place for me this year. Corner Kitchen, okay. It's at 50th and G. Like, there's like that bold. Is it a baker's plaza? It's like you said, yeah. like Spring Valley, whatever yeah, that is. Yeah, is that still a Baker's? No, no, I think so. so. No, it's, a, it's like a hardware. It's yeah. like equipment. Yeah. Or something. You wouldn't even know it's there though. That's the thing. It's so good. Really? Like, yeah, you got This is one of those places you're gonna go it's in. It's called like, Corner Kitchen. Yeah, it's Oscar Hernandez opened it up, and wow. he's like he's a chef that he most recently was like seven one two and four zero two. Yeah. But I think before that he was like I think he was part of that group that was with like when they did the Market House with Nick Bartholomew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, mm-hmm. So he's like a you know, really really good trained chef, but it's like. I don't talk about this, but he took like the best of all of these daily specials you see at places, and he just put them all on one menu. Oh my gosh! Like you can get national hot get chicken burrito, yeah. you can get ramen, you can get you know elote tots, you can get crab rangoon fries, you can get Korean so it's basically a restaurant pork tacos. Specials. <laughs> you can get yeah, it's, and he's doing brunch now, so huh. yeah. I have to get that. And I would have never even thought of it. Yeah, Izzy's is another one. I'll, Izzy's Pizza Bus. Oh, yeah. The three, one from Las Vegas. Three Kids Lobster Truck. Uh-huh. And those are... We love Lola's. And they're going to have... What's, what's, oh, the, yeah, Lola's. what's the new one going to be called in the... Uh, oh, the Kiwi. Uh, yeah. Luminarium. Oh, we talked about it. I can't remember. Yeah. It's going to be called... Uh, Fig. Ported on it. Fig. 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 Thanks for Harry. Thanks, Rob. Did you guys... There was a, the new coffee shop we opened up, 192nd Pacific. Did you get that? That was in this week's Okay, newsletter. grind. And it'll be, in the, it'll be in the lightning round today. Okay. Stick around for the lightning round if you don't mind, because there's a few restaurant things there you can jump in on. Yeah. Like the lightning round, we have Rooted Table, Mr. Rice at Oakview. Muchacho's made a post that he's supposed yeah. in a couple of mo- uh, months, but I drove by this morning and 13 didn't look like any. He's doing some work inside. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Um, the Grind Coffee House, Blend Food Hall when closing. Creek and, open up in and Dave's Hot Chicken um, interior build out is underway. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's yeah, so the, the whole Saddle Creek Breakfast Club. Saddle Creek Breakfast Club. I don't think they've done anything. Are uh, they keeping yeah. their current location? So I thought they were the moving. So there's, yeah, the story, because that, that was the controversy for a bit. Like, are they leaving or are they not? And my understanding is they have a lease at Saddle Creek, that location, through until 2024. Uh-huh. So they're at least staying there until that time. So they'll have two they'll locations have two for a little while. Out. And then if they work, maybe they'll keep them both. Potentially. Okay, I just assumed they were moving. But I love Saddle Creek Breakfast Club. Like, oh, the food's, love the food's off the charts. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's probably 
It's, it's not where I would say for Sunday fun day. <laughs> like there's, there's a difference for me, right? Like so I, Sunday fun day is you're going out and having you're, an and you're going to sit around for a while. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. Saddle Creek, you can't really do that because yeah. they, you got to turn over tables there. <laughs> there's a crush of people waiting to get yeah. in. <laughs> but the food is so good. Oh, it's amazing. WNBA star they make a good, uh, they make a good Bloody Mary too. Oh, do they? Have you heard? Uh, I have a good. I have. A, I, you I like Bloody Mary? Yeah, I've done two. I've been a judge of two Bloody Mary contests this year. Stephanie, my, my wife Stephanie loves Bloody Mary. Yeah. 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 Have you heard out from, from other food lover groups around the country? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Nope. That envy what you're doing? No, I haven't actually. It's interesting. Yeah. When I think of obviously when I think of Bloody Marys, I think of the ones that mom used to always make for us at football games. So, yeah. Have you ever, have you ever had, had a Tom and Jerry? I know, it's, it's, a, it's a holiday drink. Okay. It's, like, people have asked the last couple of days. It comes up from, the, there's a Tom and Jerry mix that's made in Wonder, by Wunderlich out of Columbus, Nebraska. Okay. But it's like a heavy like egg and milk and you know, kind of like one of those and like, you mix it with like spiced rum or brandy. You've never heard but, of it. And it's from Wonderlick, Nebraska. Wonderlick is the is the company that makes them. Oh, okay. You eat it with fruitcake. It's out of Columbus. <laughs> okay. Oh, out of Columbus. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm like, I've never heard of Wonderlick. I guess they sell the big dogs. And I guess the Reverb Lounge will all make some this way. So I, I keep wanting, I, I'm gonna, almost going to have to go try it. You know what, when I, when I fly, I usually get uh, Mr. and Mrs. T if they have it, like American Airlines. Uh -huh. I just get Bloody Mary mix. I don't get the vodka. That's what I do. Do you? Just the mix. Because yeah. it actually is a refreshing thing on an airplane. Yeah. Poured over ice. It gives me a bad aftertaste. I can't. I have, oh, to, really? I have to have something else with it. I can't just have it. Oh, I, I, a lot of times I'll do that. Yeah, just they poured over yeah. ice, no alcohol. Yeah. Um, not that I And they usually give you the can. Yeah. And I, I, I do that a lot of times on planes. It's it, it's refreshing. I turned somebody on, this gal sitting next to me, she goes, I'm going to start doing this. I think they actually go through quite a bit of it because yeah. I've heard other people say blood. The reason I started doing it was years and years ago, some guy next to me is like, I'll take Bloody Mary Good. Mix. And like, looks like having a V8. Herb Saint, Trap Room are my top two. For Bloody Marys? Yeah. Okay. Um, Where's Trap Room? Uh, Spice Slowdown. Oh, that place. Okay. I took you Sarah Baker Hansen when they did the Bloody Mary Prowl back in the day for uh -huh. the World Herald. That was their number one, too. Oh, was it right? Yeah. Okay, she's got um, she's got a review coming out next week on Sofra, and then I had that. That was all okay. my, uh, as far as the new restaurants. Yeah, yeah. But did you make it to Sofra? We did our live remote there last week. <coughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Did they have food? Yes, yes, yeah. The mushroom truffle burger. We, wow. We, we had brunch food. We had like a, I had, well, I went there for brunch too, yeah. but the burgers on the brunch menu. I had a salmon and eggs benedict, and like a salmon eggs benedict. Amy and I good. went over to Dante. You had the same thing, didn't you? Yeah. Chris, so yeah. About three yeah. weeks ago. And then and uh, ran into Brad the had something like too. Did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Salmon, white, white truffles. Brad had white, you know, oh, the, kind of white truffles, white, white oh, truffles, right. the salmon guy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We just oh, ran into it. We're like, okay. Yeah. He, yeah. Did he did the wine. He did the salmon. That was a cheap one. That was a $3 egg benedict. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was really good. I like Dante. Oh yeah, Dante, Dante never never disappoints. I'm a bigger fan of their pasta than I am of the pizza, but the yeah, pizza's still good. I agree. Right? Funny you like should say pasta. that because at both Dante and Pitch, I hardly ever get pizza. It's usually yeah. one of the other dishes, even though I like their pizzas. I love for Pitch the burgers. Are like I don't know if I've ever had their burgers. So really, I get I, my favorite thing at Pitch the truffle fries. <laughs> Sorry, no, I usually just get I usually get um, for dinner. I will get two appetizers: the meatballs and the Brussels sprouts. And that's a, that's what I do for dinner. So the Brussels sprouts is sauce by Alfaro. Yeah. The two best Brussels sprouts in Omaha right now. Ten. Okay. Sauce by Alfaro and Everett's. Oh, Everett's is good. Yeah. Really? I love, Ever I love Everett's. I'm not a big fan of the Brussels sprouts because they never get them done enough for me. Oh, really? They're too hard. See, I kind of like them that way. But I do, I, I've, I've been to Everett's twice and love that place. Only for lunch, though. Where's Everett's? Maple. And welcome back to the show. Jeff Beals and Trenton Maggot here in the KFAB Penthouse Studio, high above Underwood Avenue with Grow Omaha. We're brought to you by DNM Roofing and Siding and Dingman's Collision Center. Dingman's is the company you call if you ever get that fender bender or even scratches. You know, one of the most annoying things in the world is if someone keys your car. If it happens, just go to Dingman's. They'll take good care of you. You can choose four locations. you got Southwest Omaha, Northwest Omaha, Papillion, and Sarpy County. 
Um, and uh, and Dingman's, they, they treat you like family because it's a family-owned company. Trenton and I know them all, good people, and we're proud to have them as part of the Grow Omaha team. How about a commercial real estate development spotlight? Anyone up for that? Uh, oh, this, yeah. This is where uh, Noddle Companies will give us some information about projects. And, you know, Noddle Companies has, uh, you know, they're the most prolific developer in town. They've got uh, Steel Ridge, Exarban Village, Builders District, many, many more. Today, we're going to talk about River's Edge which is in Council Bluffs. It is on the eastern landing of the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge. And it looks like we're going to see pretty soon some multifamily construction there. Um, there's going to be a, uh, a seven-story multifamily building really close to kind of that, that the, where the park actually starts. And that's going to be called Moselle. And uh, indoor parking, a garage-top swimming pool, real uh, high quality stuff. And uh, that's a a company called Baxter Development. And then um, uh, Broadmoor looks to be doing some townhouses and apartments on the eastern side where you still have a few spots that have been uh, yet to be filled in. So it looks like we're going to see some stuff there. And then, of course, the um, the city of Council Bluffs is going to be working on a, like a seven-story climbing tower with like uh, zip <clears throat> lines, and, and it's going to be uh, really cool stuff. River's Edge really has great art collection, public art that you can go and take pictures around, and, and they've really done a good job to the, the common spaces. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, long-term, if Council Bluffs does do something with the NP Dodge Park on the south side of Interstate 480, you know, it, it could basically be a bigger version of River's Edge at some point. But for now, uh, River's Edge really uh, is starting to show some some progress and promise for becoming even better uh, than it already is. So if you uh, want to learn more about Noddle Companies, just go to noddlecompanies.com um, or just check out one of those Noddle uh, company projects, like we said earlier, Exarban, River's Edge, Builders District, uh, Village Point Medical Campus, um, and Steel Ridge in Sarpy County, and many, many others. Well, we have Stacy Winters with us. He is a head of Omaha Food Lovers. And if Omaha Food Lovers was a city, it'd be the third largest city <laughs> in Nebraska. You know, we say that about Memorial Stadium all the time. And I'll tell you, Memorial Stadium has not been putting 89,000 yeah. people in the stands you, in you recent years. You surpassed Memorial Stadium. Yeah, I saw it's all yeah. the, uh, like the reports this last week on how many actually attended. That's crazy. Yeah, so you're way you're way bigger than Memorial Stadium. You're even bigger than Bellevue, which is now bigger than Memorial <laughs> Stadium uh, for for a typical attendance. But Stacy, we've been dying to ask you. All right, 2022. Yep. A lot of restaurants opened up in this uh, this city this yeah. year. Let's hear about uh, some of them that come to your mind and what you think of them. All right. So I uh, already talked about Sauce by Alfaro. Yep. So, that, well, they, they were in Louisville, but then they moved to downtown Papillion this year. So I already talked about that one. So, I'll, you know, great place. Um, the one that I, I – we'll start with this one is Corner Kitchen. Um, Corner Kitchen opened up around 50th and G, um, kind of that old Spring Valley. It used to be a Baker's Plaza down there. If you no, didn't it's know, more industrial. If you wouldn't, if you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't. You you need to seek it out. Um, it's worth seeking out. Um, Oscar Hernandez, um, former chef, I believe, like 712, 402, has, I mean, many, many more before so that. So is it lunch and dinner or is it all three yeah. meals? Yeah, he's doing lunch, dinner. He's doing brunch on the weekends. Um, but it's kind of like I would like I would say when you see a lot of these restaurants that have their daily specials, he has taken those daily specials and put them all on one menu. So you can get a Nashville hot chicken burrito, you can get elote bites, you can get crab rangoon fries, you can get Korean tacos. Um, you, the the thing that I loved was these elote, elote bites. So he took he gets the Miller Dorman like fresh corn locally here. Um, with like a lime crema, mozzarella cheese, and wraps them all in masa and fries them. And then when you break them open, they're just like oozing with cheese and corn and lime and so good. Like you got to go try these. They're they're really, really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like, and he has like miso ramen, I think. It's like Don Don noodles. Like it's just crazy combination, but it works. And it's, so it's all reasonably priced. It's really like a restaurant of chef specials. Yeah, it is. And I mean, so he, he Corner was, Kitchen. Corner, at, no, corner, corner, yeah, Corner Kitchen. Sorry, yep. At 50th and G. Yeah, Corner Kitchen, 50th and G. That would be one I put up there. Um, Izzy's Pizza Bus um, is a food truck that moved here from Las Vegas this last summer. Um, has a huge following already. Um, they just recently announced they're going to have a permanent residency at the Trucks and Taps off 108th and Q. 
Um, every Wednesday, they're out at Bearded Brewer. Um, so you can find them you know, around town. They do do pre-ordering, so you can pre-order online. I think they open that usually at 2 o'clock for when they're at like a Bearded Brewer. I think they're opening it earlier than that now. They're at TNT or Trucks and Taps. Um, but it's that Detroit-style pizza. Um, by the way, there's a lot of people who are misinformed, though. They think that if you don't get in on the pre-order, you can't then get – because they've sold out on their pre-orders. They only do a limited amount. But if you go there, you'll be able to order your pizza too. Um, but they do the Detroit-style pizza. If you like that caramelized edge, crust cheese. I like backlog. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, very good. Um, we're actually having them. My wife loves Detroit-style pizza, probably her, like, number one thing. So she's having a milestone birthday. We won't say which one that is coming up, but we're going to have them do the food for her uh, for her 50th birthday. Oh, did oh, I say oh, the number? Oh, 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 man, I missed busted, it. Busted. busted. <laughs> Heidi's listening. <laughs> Don't even bother to go home. <laughs> oh, yesterday I put a post. So, you, you know, Broncos does a uh, – they have a senior discount. Their senior discount is for if you're 50 and older. So I had to put that on her Facebook wall that next month she'll qualify. You did. Awesome. I'm sure she was thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> she was super happy about that. No, <laughs> she's she's good sense of humor. Um, another food truck that I really liked this year that came, opened was the Three Kids Lobster Truck. So I love Lobster Roll, um, and they opened up again at Trucks and Taps. The same people that own Modern Waffle, which is another food truck there. Um, the Lobster Roll, it, again, they're not cheap. I mean, you, I, you know, they're like twenty two ninety five or twenty two ninety nine, whatever. So they're not cheap, but this this lobster roll really really hits all the notes. Um, you know, I've had obviously had lobster rolls in the in, in the Northeast, and these this one was uh, really good. Had the right roll, had the right you know a good amount of lobster, not overly you know they 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 allow you to do the Connecticut style or you know a main style lobster roll. Uh, I like the Connecticut style, which is just kind of the warm butter. So that was uh, that was really really good. Um, I think the one that probably hit the most for everybody around here was Texas Day Brazil. Everybody has been waiting for that place to open for probably years. three, four years, three years, something like that now. Um, obviously, the pandemic, you know, put a put a delay on that. But now that it's here, it's definitely gotten very, very popular. Honestly, it's really, in my opinion, very reasonable for what you get. I think it's like forty seven ninety nine a person, at least for dinner. I think they offer certain lunches where it might be cheaper. But, I mean, it's all you can eat, steak and whatever, like, 12, 13, 14 different types of meat, and then their salad bar is ridiculously good too. I try to avoid the salad bar so I can focus on the meats, but you know, sometimes they'll get <laughs> avoid you. Avoid your fillers. <laughs> the salad bar has so much good What's stuff. The they, catch? Have like lobster, they have like lobster bisque <laughs> on the salad bar. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of good stuff you're not going to want to skip there. So, um, uh, Sofra was another one. I think you guys did a live remote there last week. Um, Sofra, I, I went there. Had a mushroom truffle burger, one of the best burgers I've actually had. Kind of a smash burger. Um, Midtown you know. Crossing. I had Lox Egg Benedict last yeah. week. Very good. Yeah. So, and their fries were surprisingly very, very good. I'm, I'm a sucker for like a hand cut, you know, fresh fry. So that's uh, that really uh, that did it for me. Um, the new Canara location, again, not new restaurant, but that location is beautiful. The Regency Court. Yeah, it's beautiful. They now have a full full bar. They partnered with Jukes Ale Works. And, Do they uh, serve lunch, or are they just dinner? We might they, have to look they, that one up. They did at the old location. Okay, so you keep talking. Yeah, I'll look it up. Yeah, they, they did at the old location. Um, but they partnered with Jukes Ale Works and Nebraska Brewing Company to do beer because they have that full bar now. I think I saw like a tamarind old fashioned. They're doing some different cocktails. So that was that was a really, really, really cool place. Um, they do lunch, by the way. Yeah. Go ahead. That was a beautiful place. Um, one place I haven't been that has gotten some great reviews is Talus in Papillion. You know, that's an area of town, I think, that's been hurting for, you know, some more restaurant choices. 114th and 370 in Granite yeah, Falls. Yeah, kind of down by Papil- Papillion La Vista South, um, kind of catty corner from that area. But that is a place that the reviews have been really stellar for Talis. And they did kind of a – they didn't overextend themselves when they first opened. Um, so it was uh, – that's a place – it's definitely on my list to check out. And uh, I think, you know, everything I've seen about it has been really, really good so far. Well, we'll have to go down. All right. So we're going to uh, take our final break of the hour. And when we come back, it will be the Turner Construction Lightning Round. Stacy's going to stick with us for the Lightning Round because you know there's going to be some restaurants in there. At any rate, you're listening to Grow Omaha, brought to you by DM Roofing and Siding and Dingman's Collision Center. Back in a moment on News Radio 1110 KFAB. My wife texting me. She was joking. She was like, you bitch. What'd she say? You, you bitch. That's pretty much what she said. 
Oh, she wanted me to ask you, because one of her friends was asking her, about the hideaway lounge? You mean, do you guys know anything about it? Oh, uh, I saw it when I drove Turned by. the Pacific? Yeah, I saw it and drove no, by. Pacific Center. Um, but I've not, uh, I don't know. I've not said it. It's right by that new, uh, Starbucks and, uh, okay. there's like a stone. The big car place that's about there. Yeah, the car. Yeah, the Victory Lane. Yeah. Yeah. It's right there's going to be a Hy-Vee Fast Fresh there. I, I saw it just, I think yesterday when I was driving to work and wondered how new it was because I don't think we've had that in the Roman newsletter. It hasn't opened yet. So it hasn't opened yet? Yeah, Heidi was at one of our friends and I'd seen it. I mean, it's been there for at least a couple of months. I want to go to the speakeasy that, uh, Sarah reviewed. And that, what's the new hotel that on Dodge Street? Oh, oh you're talking Indigo. Yeah, it's an Indigo. It's called um, Anna's, Place. Anna's Place. Jordan from our office went there and said it was awesome. Really? Yeah, he said uh, he said he had to wait a little bit to get in because they have like the green light, red light yeah. thing. I know. I, I actually know of another speakeasy that's going to be opening. Oh yeah, yeah? I can't give any details oh. now yet. Anyway, <laughs> <part of time. laughs> anyway, so Jordan says <laughs> it'll be out west. Let's just say that he had to wait just a, like about ten minutes to get in or whatever, and and then he goes and he said it was really really good. And we talked to the the guy and he and he uh, brought up the Girl Omaha review and he's like he's like yeah he goes ever since that came out we've been swamped. <laughs> so we love hearing that. We yeah. love hearing that. They love hearing it too. Just as long as we uh, don't do to anyone what we did to poor Voodoo Taco the first day they opened. <laughs> when Voodoo Taco, you probably feel the same way. Like we post something or we have a review or something. Ten. And, like, Ten seconds. You create so much yeah. income for that. Four minutes. Four minutes. So we'll go through these pretty fast, guys. Yeah. So we'll go through this pretty fast, fellas. We got four minutes. This is Nebraska's news weather and traffic station. Here's Radio 1110 KFAB and KFAB.com and iHeart Radio Station. <coughs> and Girl Maha's back. Trenton Maggot, Jeff Beals, and Stacy Winters at your service were brought to you by Dingman's Collision Center and DM Roofing. It's time for the Turner Construction Lightning Round. Thank you, Turner Construction, for making this possible. Uh, they're famous around here for that big. Sarpy County Data Center, square mile of data center construction uh, and operation, but they also do uh, smaller projects too. So if you're looking for uh, a company that has deep resources and knowledge that will treat you well when you're doing even just an office build out or, or constructing even a small building, call Turner Construction. And if you're looking for a place to work in construction, call Turner Construction. They'll treat you right. Um, so let's get into this, guys. Uh, first of all, we have um, Rooted Table and Kitchen and Juicery uh, coming pretty soon to Countryside. This is going to be 100% plant-based restaurant, and uh, sounds like it's going to be a pretty good concept. And then in uh, Oakview Mall, um, there's actually you know, the food court in Oakview Mall, even though the mall can, can be a little bit depressing, the food court's actually got a lot going on. I got to get in there and see what's going on. There's a new uh, Indian restaurant, Dewat, I think it's, yep. it opened up a couple months, a month or two ago, and that's been really popular. So. I had it for lunch uh, just this week. Okay. Uh, I went there specifically for it they, and thought it was pretty good. The and mall, then, go, yeah, sorry. The mall today is actually having a big, they have a bunch of vendors there, like, I think there are like 150 different vendors there that are doing like a Christmas type show, but a lot of food vendors, a lot of different places that are there. Yeah, and uh, and that the, the, so when I was there, I checked out this Mr. Rice because uh, I'd already had the Indian place for lunch, and they had just opened recently, and um, and it sounds like they're off to a good start as well. Uh, Muchachos is uh, supposedly, according to a social media post, now within about a couple months of opening the Omaha location. Stacy, the Lincoln one's really really popular. Yeah, it's good stuff. They they the uh, what they get uh, they had on the. One of the Husker games, like on Robert, national Robert TV. Griffin, yeah, went in there and had yeah. the burrito, and they got it pretty pretty popular. We need more Mexican restaurants in Omaha, don't we? Oh, this they're, one they're is def- definitely a different. They're not like your tradition. It's New Mexican, New Mexican barbecue right. yeah. fusion yeah. is is what go. they refer to themselves. So, so it's they do not a lot of smoked meats and stuff yeah, it's like definitely that. not Green typical. Chili, that kind of stuff. Uh, Grind Coffee House has opened at ten uh, thirteen South one hundred ninety second Street. Uh, this coffee house, um, according to its website, has a little bit of an Asian fusion influence. Speaking of the word fusion, we've used that twice, fusion so that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, the Blend Food Hall has closed at 107th and Q. Short-lived. Um, it was a unique concept, at least for around here, of uh, providing food from a variety of different uh, you vendors. You order on one app and things like that. I don't think people 
understood it probably. Maybe not. Maybe not. I've been ahead of its time, but it was definitely a really cool concept, and they had some great. The app was super intuitive and easy to use, and the food was good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dave's Hot Chicken, which a lot of people have been anticipating, uh, is going into Saddle Creek and Wakely Saddle Creek Road and Wakely Street. The sign is in place, and the interior build out is underway. So. Stacy at Gromaha, we probably get a question about when's Dave's hot chicken opening yeah. probably once every week or two. Yeah, it's a, it's been a popular one. But that That's the first of supposedly many in the Omaha and Lincoln area. So We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Got to love it. Got to love that hot chicken. All right. The travel.com had an article within the last week called 10 Destinations You'd Never Think to Visit for Christmas. And these are underrated places that can provide a magical holiday experience. And so as you might imagine, Omaha made the list number two. Wow. Number two. So let me read it real fast. What a thought. Corning, New York, Omaha, Helen, Georgia, Los Angeles, Pine Island, Florida, Washington, Connecticut, Solvang, California, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Nashville, Tennessee. We'll take it. So regarding Omaha, uh, what did they say here? Let me... Um, Please stand by. Okay, here it is. Regarding Omaha. Omaha is a surprisingly fun place to spend the holidays, especially for guests who stay for New Year's. It offers family-friendly activities, nightlife, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but the music is playing, so i got to stop talking. Stacy Winters, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Stacy Winters, Omaha food lovers. Uh, in the meantime, I hope everyone has a great week. I'm Jeff Beals. And I'm Trenton Maggot. You've been listening to Grow Omaha, brought to you by Turner Construction, Dingman's Collision Center, and DNM Roofing and Siding. We'll chat with you next week at 9 o'clock right here on News Radio 1110 KFAB. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.